Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is the Imperial British Campaign. Today, the 30th of December 1948, Winston Churchill stands up in Parliament and he gives a speech. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it. I can't do it, I can't do a good Churchill accent. <laughs> Never shall I know. I don't know. <laughs> Never. <laughs> In the history of human contact. He sounds like such a nonce if you listen to him. I shouldn't use that insult because Adelaide recently told me just how bad an insult it is. But he sounds like a complete moron if you listen to the actual transcripts of the speeches. Anyway, Churchill stood up in the British Parliament and, uh, and said, you know, it is a great day. We have capitulated one of our two, one of our three, I suppose, mighty adversaries in this, the war to end all wars. And I know that's what they called the First World War, but this one actually will end all wars because I will own the world. <laughs> um, but it is also a day for great seriousness. The actions that we take, it, uh, take over the next week will define the rest of this conflict. The Mediterranean fleets have been told to carry out mass raiding operations, focusing their efforts most heavily on the coast off Barcelona. The remaining German forces trapped in northern Spain must be so trapped. Orders. The only way that we can bring this war to a swift and favorable conclusion is by a complete annihilation of those Axis forces. To that effect, a special task force will be set up to assign huge wealths of infantry power to holding back those forces. Volunteers from the many nations of the uh, great allies will be drafted in to assist in this most noble endeavor. They must not be allowed to escape that pocket. They must be driven back. To that effect, the call goes out. Be you great or small, experienced or green, your time of waiting in ports is over. The time for action is now. We need every man. The Commonwealth requires every man do his duty. We will have you in the fields of southern France. You will hold the line. We will destroy the Axis forces that have, to their credit, valiantly held out against us for so long in this area of, uh, oh god, what have I done? Yes, in this, <laughs> I've just killed one of the theatres, it's alright, you can be in the home theatre. In this area of Spain, they are grizzled veterans, they are not to be underestimated, but they will be destroyed. What are you guys doing over here? Alright. So, in less dramatic sense, <laughs> in less dramatic terms, we're gonna send uh, a huge plethora of men over towards this front line as soon as we possibly can. Uh, okay, there's a new army symbol on the other side. That's useful. Yes, you guys stop doing that. You guys are going to come into the Spanish theatre and you're going to get your butts here immediately, as soon as you possibly can. Now, we're going to have to micro over here because we're going to need to drive these guys back as soon as we can out of these last little pockets. We need to make sure, if at all possible, that the Vichy France event does not fire. Um, if it fires, we're gonna have problems. <laughs> I think it will fire. China declared war on Korea. And Korea has joined Japan. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, will that put Korea China at war with Germany? We'll see, hopefully not. <laughs> I don't have time to deal with the Eastern Front right now. You guys, okay, just drive these guys back. Order. Full frontal assaults, no hesitation. We're raiding, we should be raiding both these sea zones so they can't get any supply into these German troops. Okay, drive them back, drive them back. We want to try and wipe out all of these Germans here as well as the Germans in Spain, if at all possible. You guys get them there, good. Okay, these guys, not yet retreating at any kind of breakneck pace. They do have 41 supply still in there. 
But every one of these convoys I sink, it's going to get worse. Okay. You guys, get yourselves over here. We need you, and we need you now. Redeploy, strat redeploy, with all haste to these positions. We need to make sure they do not get out of here. Okay, fortify, entrench in the mountains, whatever it takes. We will not let them leave this peninsula. <clears throat> the way is shut. It is made, it was made by those who are the uh, Commonwealth. <laughs> the way is shut. Get in here. Okay, you guys. Tanks down here will be helpful. Entrench, org up, brace yourselves. The Germans are coming and they're pissed. <laughs> I need some of you guys to hold this line as well. If you would. Be so good. Okay, drive them back. Some of you could help take Milan, if possible. Tanks should get round behind these guys. We need to make sure we drive them out here. Quickly. We've got Raiders and Sapienza off La Sap... I, I always call this place Sapienza after the Hitman level. There's advanced equipment production. Okay, how many are we converting right now on tanks then? <clears throat> 122 a day. Jesus. That is pretty impressive. And how many of those do we have in reserve? 3,000. So we got a lot. A lot to convert. Okay, you guys. Spread down like this. We've got to try and hold these lines. Okay, good. Where are you going, by the way? <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, if you can, push up to the river. That would be excellent. Get some of these mountaineers to go a bit further along. And we'll just draw the whole front line so that we can know where what our objectives are. Okay, drive them back, drive them back. Well, they have no org before their reinforcements get here. We need them driven out. Okay, good. Coming in from the south. Okay, defensive line beginning to be established here. Uh, let's go one step into Spain, just in case the Vichy France event plans to cause problems. You guys come in here, you guys come in here. Okay. Supply here, still 41. I can't imagine any convoys are actually getting through. Yeah, we have five combat results, including, yeah, just permanent dead enemy convoys. Okay. Yeah, let's take one step in. Oh, not if they're there to resist, though. If they are there to resist, just, just entrench. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now here, we're not going to be able to prevent France capitulating again, I don't think. But we might be able to hold on to key strategic locations if we move fast. Ideally, of course, we hold on to a line all the way across France. Um, and then immediately begin a counter-offensive against Germany. If I can free up these Italian divisions, by Italian divisions, I mean, you know, my divisions deployed to Italy, if we can free them up fast enough, then we'll probably be able to hold France via a massive counter-offensive against the Germans here. If we can't, well, then we're in, prob we're in, uh, we're in problem town. Okay, the, the line here has, has buckled because it was being held largely by Italian divisions, it looks like. So a major offensive yes, through the Balkans can also begin. Excellent news. You guys just, just crush in. There's almost no one resisting you. Good. Okay, yeah. Looks good. Uh, up here, meanwhile, yeah. The attacks have stalled as our enemy has capitulated and lost much of their ground. We are bad on manpower right now. So the Norwegian men. Every man, every, every division... Send home half of you. That'll be fine. You have earned your rest. The brave warriors of Norway. You fought long and you fought hard. The fighting is at an end now. Supply is still 42. How is this possible? China declared war on communist China. Okay, China is at war with the United Chinese Front. <laughs> Weird as that may sound. I'll, I'll join this war. Sure. Uh, okay, so some of you guys can go and help against this one. Some of you guys can go help down here. Uh, I hope I'm going to be able to hold here. I mean, if they, if the rest of the Chinese front joins in, that is, because it doesn't have to. It may not. 
You probably shouldn't line up like that. <laughs> but okay, we'll, we'll deploy men to the south in case they do. They have, okay. Because now I can draw offensive lines. Everyone wants to join in on this party. Yeah, I think that's, that's okay. So we'll, uh, we'll let them all in. Big trouble in little China. That's what's going on right now. That's okay. All uniting under the one that's actually in the Allies. Fine by me. China actually joined the Allies. Quite a surprise. I, uh, I didn't expect that to take place. Oh, God, they have direct access to India. <laughs> okay, Indian fort defenders. We have the seas thoroughly mined. I have a new job for you. Gonna need all you guys. Just wait till I get to 24 men. Okay. All you guys are gonna need you in the Chinese front holding back Yunnan. Thank you. Um, Paraguay has joined China. Good. I said, they said saw join China and I thought that meant they joined on the other side. <laughs> okay. We have them here. Now just kill their supply. Okay, okay. It's getting worse. That's good. Probably because we took this victory point here. Turkey's joined in. They've got no supply. Ah, okay. It's showing 40, but that's for the Spanish. I think the Germans in this area have no supply. That's excellent. Okay. Yeah, US, you can join. That's fine. Okay. Crushing them out. Yes. Good, good, good. Keep keep attacking. Keep attacking. Need to drive them back before they, they manage to reorganize here. And cut back to the uh, uh, to the Alps, if possible. Free France is strong. Cuba, that's fine. Okay, you guys. Cut in here. Let's, let's get some progress going. Okay, any potential crossings from the south? see. Oh, yes. Very definitely. Okay. Once we all get reinforced in there, we're going to absolutely roar across the river. Lovely. Lovely work. Okay. Meanwhile, in Italy, looks like it's going pretty rapidly in our favor. You guys can clear them out. Good. And a bunch of you guys down here, the infantry, I'm going to want you to take up positions here, ready to try and uh, push to the Alpine defensive line. We have previously agreed you guys are needed on this defensive line. Good. Okay. In Spain. We are pushing them back. It's slow going, but we've got lots of men arriving since we since we called up No Decker! He's my glorious tank commander. Since we called up the uh, the coastal reserve, shall we call it. The progress there is looking pretty good. Meanwhile, in the east. We are managing to hold on to Hong Kong and this place down here while China just ravages through, no problem. Communist China, meanwhile, holding pretty well, um, but obviously has no chance in the long run. I mean, you know, <laughs> British government said that before and they were wrong. <laughs> All right, we're cutting through here without too much of a problem. Let's just go north a bit, as well as having some guys go south. Good. Okay. Yeah, cutting up from the south, very little resistance. Very nearly finished just wrapping up operations in Italy proper. Let's start putting some pressure on Sapienza. Yes, yes, I know it isn't called that. <laughs> okay, you guys out in here. And you guys in here. You guys in here. Good, good, good. Okay, Barcelona is in sight, and it's very badly defended. They're all extremely low organization. The enemy supply lines are being... Look at this. They're all trying to retreat. And they're all immediately being sunk. That's an absolutely beautiful sight. Look at that. Nice. All you guys. Get me Barcelona. Okay, meanwhile in France, our defensive line is extraordinarily flimsy. But uh, it can be reinforced. It is, you know, flexible. Some of you guys get in here. Get yourselves up here. Okay, down in Italy, we're seeing renewed offensives on Sapienza, which should hopefully bear fruit. You guys can get him here. Bolonzano is currently the capital of Italy. That is uh, a bit embarrassing, honestly. YouTube, no offense to my Bolonzano viewers. All right, you guys converge into this army. It's fine. Good, that's good. Eat. Good. Okay, in the Balkans, things stagnating a little bit. 
as we try and push through with such terrible supply. But uh, it's okay. We'll make do. We'll make do. No longer losing any ground over in the east. And in fact, some seriously under-defended provinces are looking across at me. We could perhaps try and push in a bit more. We could at least push to the river. I think it's precisely what I will do. Easy wins in all three fights. Nice. Okay, here, pressure on the port is mounting. The local Germans must be suffering from very bad attrition. Yeah, they have almost no supply. Obviously, they have some because of the local victory points, but we're clearing those out. You guys come in here. Good. Okay, meanwhile, in Spain, Barcelona's defenders did manage to hold it, but only just. And we have reinforcements very much on their way. Good. As well as cutting across the river to the south of Barcelona, which will allow me to sever the connection between most of Spain and that supply route. Good. You guys go in here. You in here. You in here. Lovely. It's going to sever the north's connection to Barcelona, which will annihilate their supply. We can invite to two faction. Who's that? Switzerland is currently willing to join our faction. <laughs> Switzerland, seeing the way the tide is going, finally willing to join. Of course you can join. Will you join the wars? No? I'm stunned. <laughs> you will, however, give me very good intel <laughs> on seeing where a lot of the uh, enemy troops are. Okay, that's interesting. Now that they're in my faction, they will start deploying troops at a much faster rate as well. I believe it should uh, should be helpful. Okay, come on. Break them. Break them already. They've got no supply. I know you can do it. It's just a matter of will. Believe in yourselves, tanks. Get Sapienza. Get in here. Okay, you guys. Spread out. Good. Americans still hold Venice, annoyingly enough, but what are you going to do? Okay, we've cut them in half, which means in the north they have no supply. Which means it's time for some AI plan. No, no, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. It's time for some offensives across the river. Finally moving out of our comfort zone on the defensive line. And we're winning them all. Bye bye, Spain, Spain, bye. Awesome. There we go. Nice. Should have gone on my side, shouldn't ya? I know I called them fascist earlier. They are, in fact, democratic, but uh, they're not acting like it, so I'm going to call them fascist Ready. anyway. In here you go. Yes, Into Barcelona you go. Not quite. We're getting there, though. They have no supply, which means the overruns are coming thick and fast. Nice. You guys can cut into Barcelona from this side. Whoops, not all of you. Good Move lord. Out. Something like this. Looks pretty similar to the previous attack orders. You guys, I want to head east. Fire planes. Nice. We've narrowly held open this uh, this pocket in France. In, sorry, in Spain. It's been a close run thing. Very, uh, very narrow entrance. But we are managing it for now. How's your manpower, Germany? Reintegrate Alsace Lorraine. <laughs> They have 60,000 manpower. I'm not sure how they keep gaining manpower. Probably when I annihilate divisions, maybe they get... I don't know. I don't really understand it. It's probably deep getting rid of plane air wings or something like that. Or maybe the AI is smart enough to disband units when it's low on manpower these days. I don't know. It's entirely possible. Crash up there. Overrun. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Overrun. Okay, so German Reich up to 17.8 million casualties. Very nice. Oh, Barcelona has fallen. Barcelona has fallen. Happy, happy days. You guys can cut east. And th all these men, experienced, grizzled veterans, are going to be freed up. And the Germans all but abandoning their eastern front. Oh, ho, ho. It feels good. They're feeling the pressure. They really are. This is excellent. This is really excellent. Remember, like, two weeks ago when you were all commenting saying, I don't think he can do it. I don't think he can do it. That's why you never bet against the count. <laughs> oh, baby. Look at that. Someone said in the comments, by the way, that my victory will be as a result of... Uh, 
gross incompetence at the foot of a pile of bodies like the Soviet Union, which I think is a great disservice, both to me and the Soviet Union. <laughs> and I appreciate neither. <laughs> Ready. All, right, all you guys can go. I don't need these, these front lines anymore. We're going to take up an offensive deployment against Italy. Uh, like so. Ah, oh, no, not all the way over here. Good God. Just, just from here. Switzerland isn't in this war, you know. <laughs> there we go. Good. Though, please just make that front line look less heinous. Okay, good. And there we go. The final divisions being wiped out. Boom. They were at 17.8. Now they're at 18. That's another 300,000 gone. Right there. Right there. Let's look at the Spanish front casualties lately. Yeah, there goes 18,000, 17,000, 61,000, 706,000 in Catalonia, 2,000 there, 1,000 there, 1,000 there. <laughs> it's glorious. All right. Decent troops. The Spanish theater is now officially, and you guys, I think the tanks, yeah, let's put the tanks in the home theater. The Spanish theater is now officially the French theater. And uh, the Marines are already deployed properly against the French front. Let's drive these guys out here, please. These guys. Where are you? You're fighting the Italian front right now. Okay. Uh, you could probably be central. Well, what about you guys? You guys are my grizzled veterans, or with nice amounts of experience in the French theatre. You can wipe out the guys. Oh god, they have no port. The poor beggars. Okay, get in here really quickly. Don't let them reach a port. If we can get these guys before they can cut cut me off in the north or reach a port, it's gonna be we're gonna make short work of them. Excellent. You guys, also down here, one of the fresher divisions. Fresher armies, rather. You can go over here and make sure the Germans don't manage any offensives there. You guys are an improvised army currently moving through Italy. Just crush, help the crush through Italy, please. Just throw bodies at the problem. Okay, fine. Maybe sometimes I'm a bit, I'm a bit like the Soviets. <laughs> but we're not throwing our own men at the problem. No, no, no. We're throwing... We're, we're a multinational country. We're throwing our allies' bodies at the problem. All right, thank you for watching, everybody. This was a great episode. We inflicted many millions of casualties upon our foes and wiped them out of Spain. In the next episode, we will liberate much of France and perhaps begin major offensives into German soil for the first time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.